Hi guys, this is your host Vijay Pandey. So today we are going to talk about uh, DNS and SNB relay attack. How we can uh, attack that with, with the lab scenarios. So we have scenario areas. Uh, you have one company. You have hired by a small company to to perform the security assessment to your customer, which is they have this particular domain and they want your help to test the security in their environment. According, according to the scope, these are the below scope we have. So you are going to do the internal penetration testing and where you will be connecting directly to the into, their, into the, their LAN. And this is the subnet which they have. And tests will be only performed for particular one segment not for the entire whole network. So they have this particular services here, sportsfoo.com, and which they have multiple services running here. And they are hiring you to hijack their this particular domain and provide the resolution uh, or the flaw, flaws in their network. So our task is what we have, uh, what we are going to achieve here is we are going to exploit the SNB relay attack or as well as we are going to manipulate their network traffic using the DNS proof. Okay. And what we are going to learn here is we are going to learn how to use the SNB relay attack in the in order to compromise the a fast host, how to use the DNS proof tool. So in order to redirect the system host that you control. And we are going to use DNS proof, uh, DNS spoof uh, tools as well as the meta split tools. Okay, so if I go to the next here is so what we are going to achieve. So this is the scenario we have. Okay, so we have one uh, attacker machine which is trying to hijack the sessions between the client and target machines. Target machine is your uh, sportsfoo.com, which is hosting. So there is a Windows 7 client, and the issue is the SMB connection, which initiate the issues, the SMB connections between source and target in every 30 seconds or every seconds. Attacker machine intercept should be intercept and request the spoof IP address and it should spoof the uh, this particular domain and then it should be replacing the its own IP address between the source and destination communication. So rather than currently if you see the 122.16.5.5 currently using the source. When you hijack this particular session other than using the dot one dot five it should be using dot hundred. That's our goal. Okay. And let's achieve this goal. I have lab, and this is the lab setup I have. So just give a second. This is the standard lab I have. Okay. And in the standard lab, what we are going to do here is first thing we are going to enable here is open the console, which is for the Apache Kali Linux. And then we will enable. So these are the steps. So first step is we are going to start the MSF console and uh, which uh, and configure the SNB relay exploit. So we are going to configure the exploit SNB relay, which is this IP address as an attacker machine IP address. Then we are going to create one file named with the uh, reverse TCP and we will set the 101 as a local host and SMB host is this one, destination as well. Then we will configure the DNS uh, is pooping. Then third is we will start. We will start the man in middle step attack, which is R uh, is pooping. If you don't know the what is the R is pooping, I would highly recommend you to uh, see my uh, R is pooping video in the uh, comment section, which I will be uh, giving to them. Then after achieving this all, we will able to run that uh, command, and we will we will able to replace the uh, IP address between source and destination with the attacker machine IP address. Okay, so let's start. What I will do here is I will log in the MSF console. So who uh, don't know the what is the MSF console is, it's a meta exploit uh, uh, 
console where you use for the any vulnerability testing. Okay, so it takes few minutes to come up. You see that this is the meta exploit the console we have now. So what I will do here is I will create that some files. So I will say use or other I will just copy paste or not to copy paste. Use exploit right windows SMB then SMB slash relay. Uh, I will share that. You exploit windows, not window. Okay, then I will set that set SRV host server host, which is 172.16.5.101. This is our local machine host. Then I will create the one script in the set payload windows meter meter reverse TCP. Then I will set the local host. Okay. I will say that set L host, which is my hacker machine, 16.5.101. Then I will set that remote host, which is our server. SMB host 172. 116.5.10, which IP address this is? This is this IP address, target IP address. Okay, now the second thing is we will, once you step one is done, second step is we will configure the DNS spoofing. Okay, so what I will do here is I will open another console here. Okay, so I will open two console of my machine. I'm not, I will not close this particular session where I'm running the uh, MSF console because I want to see the logs. So better is to use different terminal for any other configuration. So this is done. Okay, so what I will do here is, I will save that DNS is spoofing in order to redirect the victim to our meta uh, meta plot system. Every time when it initiate client initiate the uh, transaction, we will create that fake isportfoo.com for the DNS lookup. Okay, so what I will do here is I will say echo 172.16.5.1.01 always redirect to this particular host when traffic comes from any dot sports four dot com then we say power dns sorry uh, i will create another one so echo 172.16.5.101 star dot sport four dot com is DNS. Enter it. Then what I will do here is once we have DNS is moving uh Created, I will monitor the interface of the Discalin index and we will see that. We, and then, once we have the two relay, this configuration and the DNS uh, eco configuration for monitoring for redirection, I will start the monitoring of this interface. Then, I will initiate the traffic from the, I will say, DNS is moving on the interface number one. For this particular traffic, okay, enter it. So it's saying that currently there is no spoofing. So what I will do is I will in, in, enable third terminal. 
then I will try to do the ARP spoofing. I will try to do the ARP poisoning, not a spoofing. ARP poisoning. The moment I will start the ARP poisoning is, which is we call that man in in the middle list uh, attack. Then it will initiate the traffic. So what I will do here is, I will configure ARP spoofing, which is say that echo one forward system net slash IP4 forwarding because for ARP spoofing you need to set the forwarding IP forward. Okay. So this one is done. Uh no, that's something I have done wrong. Okay, so let me see configure the echo one. So system net IPv4 then I will say slash IP forward. Who if you don't know the what is the art is poisoning uh, and other thing is art, please watch my uh, other videos to understand that. Then I will generate the traffic. Once we will generate the spoof traffic between the uh, once I will generate the traffic and try to inject the DNS spoofing, if any traffic coming from here to there, oh, let me give you that better picture here, this topology. So if any traffic, if any client traffic trying to reach to gateway or to these sites, what will happen? This particular attacker machine will try to hijack, try to generate the duplicate TCP and TCP packet and the uh, uh, R packet and try to hijack to replace the IP of this to this okay, and form the system with the machines. So let's initiate the traffic and we will see that all these uh, logs. So I will do here is I will R spoof. I will generate the traffic R spoof minus I Ethernet one. T. I will see that one seventy two one. 16.5.5 and who is the gateway? So I have I will generate the two R spoofing packets. Okay, one is for the if this host try to communicate with this one, if this host try to communicate with the uh, sorry by direction, I will try to generate this one as well as this one. So if any traffic, if suppose this particular host want to talk to here, it will always go to the firewall. Then firewall will direct that. So we will try to hijack the traffic between the client and firewall. Okay. So what I will do here is I will spoof that. Then 172.16.5.1. Once you generate that, we will see here our reply. If it is not so, yeah, look here. What is saying that? It says that listening on Ethernet number one port 53 DNS. This one is replacing file system is replacing this file system is replaced by the this IP address. Now, if I go and reverse that, I will say that for bidirectional or else what I will do, I will open another again another window. Then, sorry, let me generate one here for source destination. Then, from the gateway to client, I will again generate that. I will generate the look here. So, it's saying that in the DNS spoofing, I am getting that all the details as well as. I am getting the so if I go here this is spoof, spoofing is working fine uh, however there should be the details as well here okay so the, my mistake is I have not enabled the exploit 
that's the wrong thing. So I whatever I have said that I have not enabled that. Started the cat packet capture. So what I will do here is I will reinitiate the traffic, which is already generating. I will reinitiate the traffic and I will recapture everything again. Okay, so it's already saying that. Look here. So in the MST, it says that MSF. It says that this is the details of the client. So whatever you have generated the traffic, I am able to see that details. You see, if you see here, it says that someone is trying to send the traffic, trying to associate with this particular client. And what we are doing here is we are Tracking that traffic authentication resolution, which is happening between the client and and target, and SMB authentication really against. So this particular client able to authenticate itself to this particular target, and it is creating one more session. What is saying that it will remove that existing session, it will hijack this IP address and replace the IP address with the self IP address with this particular target. This is how you create the session. If you want to check the session, which particular session we have, so just type here sessions. It says that your call, your target machine, your attacker machine is able to form the authorization with this particular client. Okay, if I generate another one, sessions minus one, not I. What well, starting the track machine, then I will get the get UID. Okay, this is how you do that. So, in this particular lab, we were able to trick the client by spoofing the DNS record. And in terms, in terms of combining with the SM, SMB relay attack, provided us with the, all the meta, meta parameter systems on the target machines. With the administrative public. Okay, so this is how you do that uh, DNS uh, spoofing with the uh, using the S SMB relay attack. Okay, so I would say that SMB relay attack using the DNS spoofing concept. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next session.